Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to solve a Penrose cube. Before solving a Penrose cube, you need to know how to do a standard 3x3. And if you don't know how to do a standard 3x3, you can watch my video in the link up above. Before we start, if you could click the like button and go ahead and subscribe. When we look at a Penrose cube, you can see these curved edges are a little bit tricky and we also only have three different colors. So other than that, we're going to solve it like a 3x3. Three three. Same moves, there is a parity. I'll show you the parity move as well. And we'll just mix it up and get started. But before we start, I want to look right here. We're going to solve the white first up here. And if you look, we have a red and white, a blue and white. This white curved piece and another red and white. So we need two reds, a blue and this white curved when we go to do what would be our daisy. So let's go ahead and mix it up. Okay, so here is the center of our white, so we're going to flip it opposite that and work around this blue piece. We needed uh, two white and reds, so I can use this one, just flip the, rip, the white part up. Here's another red and white, flip the white up. Here's a blue and white. And here is the white curved piece. So we have a red and white, a red and white, a white curved piece, and a blue and white. And then we just rotate like we would if this was our daisy. We rotate the bottom two rows, turn it around. This matches up already. Turn it around. Red and white matches up, but if it doesn't, just turn it. And then red and white right here. Turn it. Flip it over. And we should have a white T. And then check to make sure it still lines up here. And we're good to go. Now we're going to do these corners. So this one, you can see slopes. So it needs to be white, a white slope, and blue. So we can look for that piece. Here's a white slope, but it's red. Here it is, white slope and it's blue. So it is up on top, but not in the correct place. So we're going to slide it down. And then it's accessible now, right here. So it is going to be slid out of the way here, slide this down, and put it back in place. Slide it back up. So that's where it goes. This is already in place. This is already in place. We really lucked out there. Um, here is another piece we need to put in place that is a white slope and red because of this piece. So if I turn it this way and bring this down, you can tell it's not going to, it doesn't match up. So we need to kick it back and around so that it's facing the way it needs to. And then we can move it out of the way and put it in place. Now, I lucked out here that this is already in place. But, um, so this corner is just a regular cube. But make sure here that you are looking for this small triangular piece with a curve that's white on top and then red curved and it looks really weird 
to try to find it on the bottom and think because it looks like it could be just a regular cube that goes there but this is actually the piece that you're looking for once you have that you got you have the basic shape to go by so this would be our T's so now we're going to place our sides so use these colors to help you out so here we need a red and a red but look up above and you can see it's going to be curved so a red and a red curve just means you're looking for a solid red curve and it is right here so I'm just going to kick that out so I can get to it but I might as well place the correct piece in there so I'm looking for a cube or just a regular cube and it needs to be blue and red so there's one right here so I'm going to place that where it goes and kick out the other piece I wanted so that one's correct and I have kicked out the solid red curve and it goes right here so red and red and it's going to go right here. It doesn't matter if I put it here or here. Just place it on that side. And that's good. So here we're looking for red and white. And this already has the curve on it. So this is just going to be a regular cube that is red and white. So here's blue and white, blue and white, it's right here, so I need to kick that out. So let's use blue and white, and there's two of them, one here and one here, so it really doesn't matter. The reason it doesn't matter is because you could use either one of them. But if you use the incorrect one, you're going to end up with the parity, and then you can fix it later. So, that is correct now. And then we kicked out this piece that we needed. So it's white. I'm going to put it under the white to place it. And now we have the first two rows complete. So we're going to flip it over. And this is just like this, a yellow dot. So it doesn't matter where you, where you grab it from. Now we have this, just like our yellows here. But we have it with our blues. And now we have this so I'm going to turn it. And then we have our T. So I'm going to turn it to see what matches up. I'm either going to have opposites or I'm going to have the left side and the back. So here I have a red and a red. This is incorrect and this is incorrect. So I have it on the left side and the back. If you have it front and back, just do this move twice. You're going to do it once and then get it on under the cor correct colors, the matches on your left and the back. And then do it again. So Okay. So now they should all match. This is where you could have your parity. So if we have one corner that matches, we're going to put it in the front right just like we normal, normally would with a standard 3x3. Three three. If we have no matches, we can do our move and try to get some matches. So the parity comes when you have two matches. So let's see. This is correct. So this piece would actually rotate 
the blue would slide down and the white would be on this side. So this is correct. This obviously is not because there's no white. This obviously is not because there's no curve. And this one is correct because this would rotate and slide down and red would be on this side. So I have two correct, two incorrect, so I do have a parity. Um, if you have your correct ones on opposite sides, then do your left top move to get them on the same side. Okay, so I just did that, so mine are probably going to be opposites now, and I'll have to correct it. So this is correct. This is not. This is correct. And this is not. So just like this, these opposite ones are correct. I want to get them on the same side. So I'm going to do that move again to get them on the same side. So this one is correct. This one is correct. But this one is incorrect, and this one is incorrect. So put the two that you have that are correct to the back, and the two that are incorrect facing you, and do this parity move. Right side up, top clockwise, right side down top clockwise, right side up, top clockwise twice, right side down. Then rotate the top to see if you have any matches in the center. Here's a match, here's a match. This is not and this is not. So just like before, I'm going to keep it the matches to my left and the back and do my regular move that I would do when I have my T and this side and the back match. If you have opposites, do this move twice. Now they all match up. Okay, and then I check my corners again. So this is not a match. This is a match. This is not a match. And this is not a match. So I put the corner that is correct in the front right hand corner. And then I do my regular move. Switch my corners around. So this is still a match. This is not a match not a match and not a match so I'm going to do it again so now this is a match, this is a match and these are obviously matches because they're already solved so I'm going to face this to the right if these were mixed up you would just do this move multiple times like a standard 3x3 three three. so right side and then left side is the Penrose Cube. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please subscribe and hit the like button. Click on my other links to watch my other tutorials. Thanks!